Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Lalozano and today I'm going to be filming a chit chat get ready with me and I'm going to be covering three topics today, the pandemic, my life, and college. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below and let's get right into this video. So I put some questions down right here on my iPad and the very first question I have is what am I doing during the pandemic to just keep busy and I mean I have been busy doing my podcast so that's something that I've been doing I have also obviously been trying to keep posting on YouTube as much as I can I am busy because I actually do have a job so basically for my job I do the social media for the school molecular sciences with ASU and I really like my job. I think they're super flexible, especially with the whole pandemic situation going on. And apart from that, I've been watching like Netflix and Disney Plus. I watched Star Girl. That was gonna be like super super good because like I was going to read the book, but I never got the chance to. And I mean, it wasn't the best. It wasn't that bad either. It was just kind of a weird movie. But. What can we do? What can we do? I try to exercise. I did a Chloe Teen workout and I kind of did see a difference in the shape of my stomach, but I've been trying to lose weight, like my fat in my stomach, and that I didn't probably, I wasn't seeing the best results just because I feel like I was still eating the same way. And if I ate better and I did cardio, then I would have seen a difference for sure. But. I didn't. So what can we do? I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to during the pandemic. And look at my eyebrows, <laughs> they're a little crazy right now, but it's okay. But I actually do know a couple of people that have gotten corona and it's kind of scary, you know, you never know how you're going to get it or who will get it. Obviously, I'm not going to tell y'all who did it, but I do know some people and it's just very scary to be going through that and I wish everyone luck and I hope everyone's safe and fine because it is very scary. And I mean, I whenever I go out, I do carry my hand sanitizer and my mask, but there's so little you can do to actually prevent it from getting to you because if you touch something, the surface and you accidentally touch your face or something, you can like get it. The next question was something you were looking forward to that was ruined by Corona. Many things, my whole summer. Um, no, just kidding. But literally I was supposed to go to Europe this semester or this summer because I was studying abroad and I was so excited. I was looking forward to that opportunity because I've always wanted to study abroad and I finally was able to because I got like a scholarship from Taco Bell to be able to do that and I was just so devastated. Italy was going to be one of the places we were going to um, hit up but we obviously didn't because the whole pandemic happened but with my trip I was going to be studying brand strategy abroad in Europe and go to the Cannes Film Festival. So I was going to be going to Cannes, Paris, Barcelona, and then lastly return back to Italy and go to either Rome or Florence, like those really nice places. And I was so sad because obviously I couldn't do any of that because it was ruined by Corona herself. And I mean, that was something I was looking forward to for like the whole school year to only be ruined by Corona. And honestly, it all happened so fast. So I wasn't even like expecting it to like happen you know? No one was. And when it was in Italy, I was like, oh, it's fine. It's in the south side. Like it's not going to carry all the way over there. You know, I'll be fine when I study abroad, but nope, it happened and it spread like wildfire. By the time I like knew about it, obviously happening in the US, I was like, yep, there's no way we are going to be able to go to Europe. And then we got a message and I was so sad for a while, but then I was like, it's okay. Like I'll be able to go some other time. But my airfare, like I did pay a thousand dollars, a thousand six hundred dollars. 
to travel by airplane and so obviously I think what they're doing with that is they're giving me air credit to use by the end of this year this upcoming year so I'm like if I can use that to like go to different places if the cell situation calms down a little bit at least then I'll go to like different states and just use it but something good I feel like it's just having more time to be able to do what I love and I'm passionate about posting YouTube videos posting episodes on my podcast that has been a really great thing but then I mean the other bad thing is I mean I go out with my friends when I can but it's not the same you can't really go out to places because you have to like wear a mask you can't sit down and have the same experience I mean you can but honestly I don't like to but it's my personal preferences my favorite quarantine snack is goldfish obviously I love goldfish if you know me that's like my favorite snack ever and even during quarantine I've been getting goldfish all the time and even like my family's like you need to stop eating goldfish and I'm like no. Honestly I'll have my goldfish. Thank you very much. And now I'm just putting some powder on here because I ran out of eyelid primer so I've been using concealer. And now I'm going to be talking about college and how that kind of changed while I was in school. So um, with the pandemic, obviously I was a sophomore this year. I finished my last semester as a sophomore and during that time was when all the pandemic stuff started happening. And I mean, I went to a lot more parties my first semester and I had a lot of fun living on campus. It was just a great experience. I mean, I talked about it in my reflection for my sophomore year, but I just really liked my sophomore year except for when Corona hit, obviously it ruined a lot of things. My sisters graduated from NAU, so they're twins if y'all didn't know, but it's really cool. They were able to obviously graduate but not walk, which really sucked. And I know a lot of high schoolers and a lot of other college students couldn't also walk and that's something that sucks because you meet, I mean you worked your four whole years for that and I mean they couldn't do that but yeah I mean I finished up my sophomore year strong even though it was online and since I'm talking about that I think the first question is how hard was it to transition from being in person to online and one day they just tell us hey you're not going to be able to go back to in-person classes you're doing all your classes via zoom I was like uh okay I guess but honestly as the semester progressed and we were finishing up I honestly didn't really mind it I thought it was actually a really great alternative to learning inside of the classroom especially if you wanted to stay safe and not like catch corona I really like in-person classes but having the zoom version available for like lecture style classes I would have my lecture kind of like if I was going in class but in the comfort of my own home um, so it wasn't that bad, honestly, and my teachers were very flexible. They even let us have a set of 28 notes on our exams. Even our final exams were open notes, so it was like really good, and I just really appreciated that they were super flexible and understanding with the whole situation going on, but I think I personally did well. I think it wasn't that bad. This semester is going to look completely different and I mean they released the information to all the ASU students so like everyone knows about it but since y'all listening I'll tell you. So basically we have the option of doing an in-person class that will also be during like through Zoom. So on your off days like you have apparently a day that you go in so say it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you have to go in person Tuesdays, but on Thursdays you're doing it via Zoom so that they split the class in half and you're able to sit six feet apart from each other. So that's one way that they're doing it. And then the second way is just doing it fully online. So if you want to do basically all iCourse with no lecture, 
it's just you do it all by yourself on your own time then that would be the i course but i'm going to end up doing the sink which is a margin one the one where you throw in half in person and half on line just because i feel like i'll still be able to have that experience of still going to class and stuff, but also having the option to do it via Zoom. So if I wasn't comfortable going like one week, say, then I can do it through Zoom and I'll still get my points and stuff for going to class and doing my work because I did it through Zoom and I didn't have to go in person. So that's kind of one of the perks of having the Zoom version of class. But I mean, it's still going to be very different, especially since it's going to be less people in the class. And so, I mean, it's, I just don't know what to expect. Also, we can't have any guests inside of our dorm rooms. I'm still working on campus this year as an REL. So. But basically, yeah, that's how the semester is going to look like. Some online classes, Zoom sections, still going in person, hopefully, if they allow us to in this thing doesn't skyrocket because Arizona has a ton of cases but I'm just excited to be able to be back on campus because I really miss the atmosphere even though it's going to be a little different I miss going to Starbucks going to the Memorial Union um, going to the library studying with my friends sitting outside going to Green and Green Cafe is the best by the way um, but yeah that's what I'm looking forward to and I'm also looking forward to maybe getting an internship after this semester because this semester I'm supposed to be working on my thesis, which I'm going to be defending my second semester of my junior year. We have to bring the product into the market. Another thing I'm very excited about is teaching my own class. So I'm going to be teaching a Diaper Carry 101 class for incoming freshmen. And I'm excited because I took that class and I really liked it. And I was going to do the facilitator position last year, but I just didn't know I was gonna live on campus. It was kind of last minute that I was able to actually live on campus because I got the RAL email and then I applied in the summer for the position and I ended up getting it. And that's why I was able to live on campus. I'm so excited about that because I'm going to put it to I'm going to be able to teach baby freshmen um, the same things that I was getting taught while I was coming into the university. So just like where everything's at, what resources to use, and so I feel like that's really helpful. And I'm excited to be giving back to those students because it's always fun to give back to the younger generations because they are also amazing. Y'all are doing some amazing stuff out there, probably more brilliant than we are, <laughs> but great things. I mean, now since I'm just finishing off my face, I'll tell you guys about what I plan for the future. Hopefully it stays somewhere around there, but if not, I mean, it's completely fine. The future is definitely fluid. It's not going to be something that's going to always be the same thing. Obviously it's unexpected, just like things that happen now. But in the future, I also broke my Becca highlighter and I'm very sad about that. Very, very sad about that. But I'm thinking about going into, obviously you guys know I'm in, I'm doing marketing and management. So I'm thinking about going into brand managing for client side, haven't decided what company yet. Obviously I'm still looking, I'm a baby still. I have like a full year to think about that and decide whether I'm going like agency side or like doing advertising or client side where I just focus on one brand. And so that's kind of what I've been looking into while I've been also in quarantine because I didn't really know what else to do. <laughs> Y'all remember about last year around the same time I got my first eyelash extensions and let's just say that my eyelashes are gone now. 
just sad, but I used to have really pretty lashes. They were pretty long too. Also bought like this really big bag of scrunchies on Amazon because I've been really bored at home. So I've just been buying things. I'm actually wearing one of those scrunchies right now. They're so cute. And oh, I also bought like a gel nail kit. So I've been doing my nails at home. Do you need now? They actually look kind of professional and I'm digging. Okay, so I'm basically done with my whole makeup. Now I'm going to gloss in these lips. Oh, maybe. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below what you're doing during the pandemic to keep yourself busy, how you've stayed productive, or just something that you're excited for this upcoming semester with school, if you're graduating senior in high school or you're entering college, what are you excited about? Leave that down below. I'm going to start my college series soon, so be on the lookout for that because I'm very excited to be sharing that with y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.